Hello, Ed Explorer. Thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. Today, we are visiting the country of Tanzania. In this episode, we shall explore Tanzania from its economy and its people, the transformative nature of this interesting African nation, and also to present to you that the next time you plan to visit Tanzania, you will have better information as to the reason why this country has come a long way. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. Before we give you the details with regards to the economy of Tanzania and its transformative nature, let me allow me to give you the background with regards to Tanzania. Tanzania was formerly known as the Tanganyika. In 1964, Tanganyika united with the island of Zanzibar to form the United Republic of Tanzania, the largest of the East African countries and one of the most transformative nation and also Tanzania is located in East of Africa's Great Lakes, North of Mozambique and South of Kenya. It has a coastline of Indian Ocean in the East. The nation is bordered also by six other African countries. This includes countries like Burundi, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Malawi and also Rwanda including Uganda and Zambia. It also shares maritime borders with the Comoros and the Seychelles. The shorelines also includes three great lakes in the African continent, which includes Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika, and also Lake Nyasa, which some popularly also known as Lake Malawi. In terms of its population, Tanzania has a population of just over 58 million people, and the capital is Dondoma, the largest city which is the chief port, major economic and transportation hub, and the de facto capital that should be taken into consideration is Dar es Salaam. Spoken languages are Swahili, English is also both official, Arabic widely spoken in Zanzibar. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Moving forward with regards to the background, Shortly after independence, Tanganyika and Zanzibar merged to form the nation of Tanzania that was in 1964. The one-party rule came to an end in 1995 with the first democratic elections held in the country in the 1970s. Tanzania has transformed. The country is dynamic in terms of its operations. It's moving forward in different areas. With regards to how Tanzania has transformed looking at its economy, it's one of the most amazing African countries when it comes to its interactions with other developed well or foreign investments into the nation. Looking at the overall view of the Tanzanian economy at the moment, Tanzania has achieved high growth rates based on its vast natural resources, wealth also, and tourism with a GDP growth that is expanding so far. The Salaam's use physical stimulus measures and easiest monetary policies to lessen the impact of the global uh, recessions and also the COVID problems that is impacting most countries in the African continent. Generally, the beneficial part of low oil prices and that's affected the country. Moving ahead, Tanzania has all largely completed its transition to a market-based economy. Also, the country is developing its resources in different areas. Uh, the government retains a presence in sectors such as telecommunications, banking, energy, and also mining. The economy depends on agriculture, which accounts for slightly less than one quarter of the GDP and employs about 65% of the workforce in the country. Although gold production is recently, in recent years, has increased to about 35 to 36% of export, all lands in Tanzania is owned by the government, which can lease land for up to 99 years. Proposed reforms to allow the land ownership, and particularly foreign land ownership, remains very unpopular in Tanzania. Looking at this financial sector on how the, com the country has transformed, the financial sector in Tanzania has expanded in recent years, and foreign-owned banks account for about 48% of the banking industry uh, total assets. At the moment, competition amongst foreign commercial banks has resulted in significant improvement in its uh, efficiency and also quality of financial services in Tanzania. Though interest rates are still uh, relatively low, like amongst other African nations, banking reforms have helped increase 
private sector's growth and investment in different areas. The country is transforming its economic situation and also in perspective in the financial sector. If you are new to this channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Looking at Tanzania in terms of its own uh, climate, it is varies from tropical to arid temperatures. Uh, Tanzania is of course very uh, flexible in different areas. In terms of uh, the agricultural sectors which we've pointed out, the country engage in different industries like in agriculture processing which includes sugar, uh, seeds also and diamond, gold and iron ore mining and oil refinery. It does international business with different countries in terms of export commodities, which include coffee, a cashew nut, a very popular and also manufacturing. Cotton does also involve uh, part of uh, these export products. Of course, Tanzania has in other internal parts that it does do businesses with different uh, countries. Different partnerships in Tanzania would include China, also Japan. It does business with other regional African nations uh, like Kenya and also transact businesses with countries like Belgium. Tanzania also involves a lot of uh, uh, import products which consumers machineries and also transportation, equipments, industry raw materials and different parts. It does import partners in different areas. The country is doing business as well with the United Arab Emirates and they of course transact enough part of uh, over 4.7% uh, so to say uh, of their businesses with, with the Republic of South Africa. If you are new to our channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Looking at the general assessment as to the economy and the transformative nature of this amazing uh, African uh, country, the government, of course, uh, the World Bank puts uh, Tanzania and also the IMF uh, bilateral donorship, uh, which forms uh, rehabilitation of its aging infrastructure. The government is emphasizing more recently in improving its infrastructures, which includes uh, things like the rails and ports, which provides uh, important trade links for inland countries. Uh, as of uh, 2014, uh, the Tanzania completed the world's largest Millennium Challenge uh, Compact Grants, uh, which uh, helped improve the economy of the country and in different areas. The new government uh, elected in 2015 has developed uh, an ambitious development agenda to focus on creating a better um, also business environment to improve infrastructure, access to financing and also education progress. But however, implementing budgets remains a challenge and the government of uh, Tanzania has also um, involved a lot of uh, other areas. Uh, the new president is cracking down on corruptions and also transform transforming the country in different ways. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe so you never miss a post. Moving ahead understanding, for those of you who plan to visit Tanzania, there are several things you could do. Tanzania is rich in terms of arts and culture. You can also visit the Sukuma Cultural Museum, which is interesting for those of you who want to go there. It does have its own transportation network, the Airline Air Tanzania, and also the Zan Air are different uh, airlines that could help you in terms of transportation within. Tanzanian Tourism Board will provide you enough information as to regards to this country. It's having a transformative area. The Tanzanian National Park is an official park also. You do have the Serengeti which is well known around the world. For those of you who are um, just kind of enjoy traveling and uh, visiting parks uh, within the African continent. Tanzania has an interesting system. The education system has been transformed and also the government that invested hugely in this area. Very renowned institution will include the University of uh, Dar es Salaam and also the university as the Zumbe University in the country. Uh, of course, uh, the environmental nature and the different transformative aspect of Tanzania is reflecting on its growth and influence that the country has uh, currently um, as its transforming to do business with different regions. So if you plan to visit uh, Tanzania, it's always advisable to check on to the different regulatory issues, um, especially at this particular time with uh, the COVID challenges that's ongoing. 
for those of you who plan to also uh, have a clear understanding and doing business in Tanzania, the government is open to um, uh, doing business with uh, different uh, direct foreign investment uh, companies or organizations. It's employing different uh, experts from all over the world to transform its system, but working at uh, the regulatory aspect in different ways. Also, Tanzania has transformed. It has emerged. It's become one of the major players in the African continent in a whole lot of ways. Of course, the country engages in a lot of uh, accountability, uh, looking at the current president in its transformative nature. So this was some of the information with regards to how Tanzania has transformed. For those of you who have been to uh, Dar es Salaam or to Dondoma, will confirm that this amazing African nation is taking a step to a hopeful lot of different direction. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully we've informed you with regards to uh, Tanzania. The next time you plan to visit, we would like to know from you. If you feel that we've touched out Tanzania to your satisfaction, we would like to hear from you. Leave us a comment in the comment section. However, if you feel that we've left out something, we would also like to know from your own comment. For now, thanks very much for watching the Explorer. Hopefully you can watch our other episode on our YouTube channel. We are looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.